Hello everyone, my name is Eric. You're welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to share another inspiration story. One of the farm who is growing mango in Dodoma. Can you believe this? This is Dodoma, Tanzania. Yes, Dodoma is semi arid. It is one of the areas where it receives low rainfall. But it is wonderful to see this crop are grown here. The biggest lesson I have learned from this inspiration story is that plant need water. For many decades, we have been relying on seasonal rainfall, which is not enough for growing crop. So guys, if you have capability, or if your farmer, or if your client have capability of drinking water, this is a good way to grow or to have sustainable agriculture in your place. For instance, here in Dodoma, if the farmer they can drill source of water they can have this source of water they are sure that they can have the long season of production for instance like mango they just need six to eight months after you transplant the seedling if you rely on landfall you will not achieve your goal because Le Dodoma, the nature of the place, they receive low land, landfall, which is not enough to sustain this seedling for eight months. But when you're integrating this, uh, the season rain, so the water that you get from rain, and then integrating the water that you drill, you can achieve your goal. You can see this place is real dry you can see that there is no grass for this season but this farmer they are flourishing why because they decided to channel to use as a source of water they drill their well and now they are getting in semi desert and they are planting they are doing well and the biggest secret i will share with you that most of this grafted variety that is available for the export market that is they have competitive price in ex export market are apple mango variety apple mango variety they have one biggest secret they are very sweet because the sugar level they are about 14 percentage the rest of the grafted variety like tommy kent kent they are less than six percent of sugar level so that most of a uh, export market like they require or the demand the high demand is apple variety because they give high yield and also they have sugar but if you grow any of this variety i mentioned here in dodoma because the doma is semi arid and they have enough sunshine that they can make or they can create more sugar for your mango variety which will give you the competitive advantage that if you send your mango to the market you'll find your mango will fetch high price same as this apple mango variety Tanzania mangoes are one of the most common fruit that local farmers grow and uh, they can't rank in number 17 for biggest export of the fruit in the world and the most common variety that they are growing are this you see this one is red mango or people call it tommy acting variety and uh, also these are most commercial grafted cativas where you can find and there is also uh, this uh, kate kate is another variety of the mango that they are grown in the area and also there is apple the most common one because apple variety they give a lot of yeast and they are very sweet and sugar compared to other variety when you visit to other village, you can find there is many cultivars that are indigenous, like there is dodo, there is bolivo, 
that is believed. This is our farmer who is residing in the Doma. This farmer, we call him Marab, who decided to chip in this business of food, mango. So once he's, this mango, they have age of like five years now. And the first time he planted, he used he, this uh, mango, he used uh, uh, irrigation, like supplementary irrigation, like he start with rain, once there is no rain, can he water with hand cane or with horse pipe. So this farmer, the biggest secret, like, uh, or oh, another reason that I have learned that you can plant direct the seed of this mango variety, like this tome, and uh, it will give, it will start giving the yield after four years less two years less than the apple variety or that apple variety which is grafted and uh, one year less than this tome itself so you can decide that even this mango you are getting you can also replant this mango direct from the seed because this area is new because most of the uh, region that are growing a uh, mango in tanzania the most region are like Tabora, Kilimanjaro, Ruvuma, and Pemba, Tanga, Morogoro, and the coastal area. But you, it is like very rare to hear Dodoma is growing commercial mango. But it is very possible and it have very competitive advantage of sunshine. So this is apple variety. This is one most common cultivar that we can find in export market because they give a lot of yield and also they have medium size of the fruit compared to other varieties that they give a very big fruits and also different variation but this one they have like uniform size and they are very sugar and they can do well in different areas compared to other varieties and also they have competitive uh, advantage in the market so guys to start this business this farmer Morab he told us that you can see this is Kent Kent they just off season now this is early November so you can see advantage of having many variety this Kent we are finishing harvesting because they start flowering and from early uh, July to August and then uh, you harvest in early November October to November and this can't finish in me you can finish and you can see like this tommy already mango this is uh, next after apple so this will be next and the uh, most season of mango in Tanzania they are from November to January so if you have like one crop your season would be very short like in early november or in late november you are done with production if you grow kent itself right but if you decide to grow like this farmer he grow four varieties now they have done with kent and you can see tommy actin they are coming or oh, some people they call this tommy actin ready mango there is many cultivars, but for this farmer he grow for most grafted cultivar which is the tommy which you people some call red mango and there is katie and there is kenti and there also there is most popular apple variety and both of these varieties they have their disti the distinctive character but for biggest that the one i, I have learned that this cultivar they will help you to sustain the market for for very long time so you'll have the longest market if you decide to grow this cultivar you can see like this kent katie they are very long like apple not up like in avocado fruits so the the distinct character that i can distinguish from other is that this kent they grow Kate they grow very big and they will be the last one to be harvested 
maybe in in the end of the season of January. So this case they they are very long and also they they look like avocado. If you see the shape of avocado and this is the variety. So I have been inspired that and this farmer he told us again that investment of this orchard is not a lot like other crops because this one you need to have the land if you have piece of land and if you have source of water that you can integrate or you can supplement when there is your off season of rain because most farmers they are relying on rain but he give us his secret that it is possible to grow mango if you have another source of water where you can irrigate your seedling for six to eight months after that your mango will need low amount of wood and also another advantage like that have learned that the people who are growing in high altitude their mango are like to lapin late than the people who are growing in lowland so you can find the time there is no mango in market if you grow in high altitude you can fetch a good price so you can see this is kate this kate the shape is like avocado and this is the one that will be the last to be harvested in this orchard so that's the advantage of integrating different uh, these grafted cattle which are good for commercial and um, another advantage that another secret that have learned that so if you want to prolong your season if you have irrigation source you can also decide to water if you water your mango your mango will keep giving a lot of leaves so it will delay flowering so this is another like technique but there's also another technique like uh, stressing the 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 plant so that also they can give maybe more fruits uh, in you know if they can flower in off season this technique of stressing or chipping your plant you can use different tools but the technical we call it gidoring so you ingest the plant so you force the plant that they are like stressing the plant to give fruit if to, because the plant they have this characteristic that to ensure they survive they need to give more bath of the fruit if there is more fruit means the, the plant will have the one will succeed in their generation so most of farmers they use this gidoring technique but this technique yeah you can if you're not expert or if there is no expert who can guide you you can injure the plant and the plant can die so we recommend this technique for farmer who have access with this extension or agronomist so there is a lot to learn from this mango so you can see this apple mango this is apple and this is one of the most popular and they say it's give a lot of yield and you cannot add you guys and you can see they are giving uniform size and they are very sugar and plus they are growing in the domain so there must be more sweet than other varieties so this is why most of export market they need this because it's natural they are in medium size very sugary give a lot of yield so there is other variety too they are doing well also like tommy or red mango there is also kate which will give you a good price in the rate of the season i hope you find the value in this episode thank you for watching